Okay, hi everybody. It's Dara, and I have Herbie here. Come on in, Herbie. Do you know who Herbie is? Okay, I'm Dara. I follow a raw, vegan, mostly vegan, except for honey, lifestyle, diet and lifestyle. And Herbie is my dad who started eating organic vegan food July 1st, nine months ago. July 3rd. July 3rd, <laughs> July 3rd, nine exact. months ago to be exact. I just, I just want to say that everyone is so impressed and enamored with Herbie. He, at 85 years young, and I only say 85 because it's just a number of times around the sun to show how much beautiful experience he's had, how much he's lived his life, and then all of a sudden became open to this way of living and has reaped the benefits, the rewards. Oh, Hit definitely. it, Herbie. Well, listen, um, uh, everything it comes together, and I made up a saying that it's a happy pill. Yeah, <laughs> you took a happy pill. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm smiling, I feel good, uh, I talk to people, I'm very positive, and then I don't have to tell you, it's, uh, it's a given, I'm, I have so much love with this wonderful daughter. I love you. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, I'm started on a wonderful chapter uh, that keeps getting better all the time. It's uh, like someone who's a novice writer of a book and then all of a sudden they're, they're putting out a book and being on the New York Times bestseller list. And that's what's happening here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it, uh, it's, uh, I'm very proud uh, to be Dara's dad as well as uh, uh, the future, I think, is going to bring a lot of things of smile and help to many of you people out there. Yes, we have some things up our, up our sleeves, some magic that's happening, some extra sparkle, because I've been following my heart and my passion and sharing what I love, because I really believe that people need to know. It's one thing if you know and you hear that this food is good and you choose not to eat it, or you hear certain things are good to do and you choose not to do it, but it's the people who don't know who need to know. I'm really passionate about helping to stop needless suffering. There's people, you know, I say to Herbie, I go, quick, I go, it's an emergency. <laughs> people, for every collard leaf you're eating, every piece of fruit, there's somebody biting into something that's toxic for their bodies and they're not realizing what they're shoveling into their system affects everything, everything, everything. And so it's an emergency. Today I say, get out of the car. <laughs> we got things to do. Yeah. People need to know. So I've been reaching people on a level that when I first heard about raw food or cleaning your insides or cleaning your colon and all of the things that I've learned over the past nine years, when I first heard about it, I wanted to stand on a street corner. Well, this YouTube channel is a version of my street corner yeah. where I get to stand and just tell people about what I've learned, what I know, what I do, how to do it. And we, uh, we want to take it, we want to spread the message. So any of you who care to share this, you know, channel, our family's channel, it's our family, it's our family, we're all family of like-minded, like-souled people. Extended family is the terminology, right? Yes, yes, it's just extended family. So share it because people do need to know. And what Herbie told me today is that he feels so lucky to be 85 and to have be pain free, right? Mm, unbelievable. It, uh, it, it took someone who was kind of sick and kind of old and made me a young man. Right. You're I mean, glowing. I, Your I'm, skin I, is I, glowing. I'm thinking more positive and uh, it's amazing if you don't have pain, uh, what a different wonderful world that is. Right. And it, the, uh -huh. back to the, uh, you are what you eat, but it's more than that. A person has to have a, a will to want to be better. And you, each of us have that capability. It's just a question of wanting to do it. Oh, you were going to share something, right? Yes. yes. Before I share your dinner with you. Do you yeah. want to hear what the dinner is? And have, oh, sure. You do? He's going to get his at, notes because he's been waiting to tell you guys some things that he's been learning from Dr. Walker and some things that he's been reading. In the meantime, if you want to know how to make my puntanelle salad, it's a classic Roman salad for, we're getting ready to go to Rome or something, mm. Roma, Italiano. Mm. This is 
It looks delicious. It's like a chicory salad, and there's a recipe video before this particular one, so you can learn how to make it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sprinkle some pine nuts on yours. Okay. But anyway, so this is what mm. we're having for dinner. Yeah. That, that bowl represents so much good thoughts and good health. You know, it, um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward. It represents love and freshness. Yeah. and Definitely. That's, those are good words. Love and yeah. freshness and vibration from the farmers to me, to our table, to you. And Herbie, I'll tell you what, Herbie eats in the same manner in which this food was prepared with love. He was so, I bought him the lilacs because he loves lilacs. And his answer was not thank you for the flowers. He said, I just can't believe how much I love you. <laughs> that, was, that was like the best thank you. I mean, it just stopped me in my tracks. So this is my expression of love to you. Thank you. And my expression will be to devour it. There you go. So, so thank you. So here's your, your notes. Right. Uh, Do you need your glasses? Do you need to no, read them? No, no, no fine. Uh, Dr. Walker is one of the... Uh, I'm going to make sure we're on. Hold on. Okay. Just, that would be bad because this is so good. Your info is so good and we're on. So we're safe. Okay. Uh, he's one of the pioneers. In Dr. The, Walker is one right, of the pioneers, okay. Right, right. and uh, he's written many books. And uh, mm -hmm. let me start off by one thing that I'm sure most of the females, women out there are well aware of. But he underlined it in the uh, last chapter that I read that women shouldn't wear a heel as more than a half inch high. Okay. And he, good recommends, to know. he recommends sandals if humanly possible. So whatever that's worth, I pass Thank that you. on. Thank they you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, also, he uh, turned, uh, if you want to succeed, if you really want to, and he goes under the heading of saying you want to be younger. You want to be younger? There's three things that he uh, put down. He said, first of all, that you have to be uh, self-disciplined. Mm -hmm. No one can do it for you. It's you for you and I for I. That's the only way it can be done. Yes. And then uh, in order to achieve that, that goal of being younger, good health, good th feelings, um, you, you have to have been cleansing yourself, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Enemas. Cl colonics. Colonics. Fiber in your food. Right. Mm -hmm. No. And then the third thing is the nourishment, what you eat. You are what you eat. And with that, I'm going to... It said way into, uh, he, there was a list on the AOL for what it's worth. I didn't verify it, but it sounded proper. And, it sounds and, pretty good. I, I heard the list. It sounds like, you know, we don't often talk about the things to eliminate from your diet, but that's a huge part of this. It's adding the nutrients. It's eliminating the toxins. It's also eliminating the offending food. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is a, a list of what... Under the heading of what they said, cancer causing foods, okay? Number one, negative, thumbs down. That's putting uh, popcorn in a microwave. That's one of the worst things that you can do in terms of what the byproducts are. Mm -hmm. Putting any anything in the microwave, microwave changes the molecular structure so that it is unidentifiable to your body, is treated as a toxin, and as such, all your white blood cells go to it. And so when a germ ends up in your body, there's no extra white blood cells. Basically, you're lowering your immune system by microwaving. Okay. Go ahead. And his next thing that uh, was under the list was non-organic fruits. That's a big one. Yes. Uh, they're talking about... The worst things with the spraying and so on, he has apples, grapes, uh, strawberries, and... Um, oranges. And oranges, right. And then, uh, the, uh, if you're only going to do one of them because of uh, availability or maybe the price, uh, mm -hmm. so is definitely people should have apples, so make sure you get organic apples if you're going to buy them, if yes. possible. Yes, and then good the, one. The third one they had is any canned food, and they Bad. specifically said canned tomatoes. Can mm -hmm. cans bleed their aluminum? Aluminum, right? Yes. All right. And mm -hmm. the fourth thing, uh, which is uh, uh, all the delicatessen uh, meats, processed meats, whether they're smoked or mm -hmm. um, 
it, it, what else would they do with the... Uh, well, they put nitrates in them. There's chemicals in them to preserve them. Okay. And then a big no-no is, a, and uh, I'm not the first one to tell you this, but about farm-raised salmon or any farm-raised uh, fish, uh, unfortunately, the, um, the sanitary and the chemicals is just, and, and, the, and then they uh, coat the fish to give them more color. It, 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 you're not putting in food in your body, you're putting in poison, unfortunately. Uh, then um, they have um, potato chips. Potato chips. Yeah, yeah. So that's, I, 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 I know I'm hurting a, 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 a couch potatoes. Well, but. they 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 have a lot of potato chips have hydrogenated oils, which is your well, next one. Right. Sorry to spoil it. That's but the thing is, when you bake potatoes, the outside surface of the potato is where you get the toxin known as acrylamide. So the more surface space you have, a baked potato is better than a potato chip because the potato chip is all surface, so it's all acrylamides. Mm. At least with the baked potato, you have the inside of the potato that doesn't have the acrylamide and then, in it. Steaming uh, potatoes are best. Uh, and then based on my own experience, yams are better than regular S potatoes. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, they have what... Uh, I, everyone should know and be wary more any kind of soda pop. We, we skipped, I just want to say the hydrogenated I mean, oils, oils right. will clog your system, will mm -hmm. clog your brain, your lymph system, your cells, and you just, it's not good for your heart. Now remember, Go ahead. these are all cancer-causing yeah. foods. Soda uh, pop? Uh, then after soda pop, we have highly processed white flour. Bad. Very yeah. bad. No nutritional value. Okay. And then, of course... The GMOs. Yes. You know, and uh, uh, any refined sugars. I'm going to post a link below to our friend. We're not going to say his name. Our friend made a short video on genetically how we can support the not, not supporting genetically modified foods, what we can mm -hmm. do as consumers. Mm -hmm. And then um, artificial sweeteners. That's, a, oh, right, that's yeah. a big bad one. Right. right. And um, diet anything. Um, yeah, yeah, when they have the uh, aspirante, uh, aspartame. The, the aspartame, right. All those things, definitely uh, doing very, very bad things to the body. And any, any foods that are either highly uh, salted, pickled, or smoked. So uh, okay. for what it's worth, uh, I know a lot of these people enjoy the taste of it, but keep in mind, it's a very negative thing you're doing to your body. And, and in a way, you're... You're, you're causing a problem that, instead of making you younger, is going to make you older. Right. And, and sicker. Uh, and, and not and, feeling so good. Right. And, <clears throat> and, and Herbie's the, feeling so good. It, uh, <laughs> each day it seems to get nicer and better, and, <laughs> and it's more easy to love people. <laughs> Aww. Aww. It makes my heart so happy. I mean, how could anything, when you, when you get to experience the joy that Herbie's experiencing through simple things like food and sunlight and body movement and love from the people around him, that's life. Uh -huh. That's and, life. You are a shining example of this lifestyle, Herbie. Thank you. I got to say. Yeah. I, and then, Incredible. Uh, even though I'm having people work on my body. Uh, Meaning and, massage and colonics, right. yeah. But, but is if you want exercise, the two main things is walking or swimming. Yeah. So uh, certainly walking you can do at your own pace and in decent weather. And uh, you are a star. So, so Herbie's you, a star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. You're glowing. You're shining. You're standing up straighter. You're. He's just such a great. And I'm telling you, I don't make food like this all the time. He's on his own doing his thing, and it's pretty simple, and he does it. So on that note, you want to try it? Sure. You do? Or do you want to wait till you're uh, off no, camera? I want to have people see the nice smile on my face after <laughs> I eat. And the green thing in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Nobody cares. It's got a lot of flavor. I could even add a little bit of... Um, Nothing. Mulberries or something sweet, but it's, it's pretty good, right? It's got some strong flavor. The chicory, the puntanella, this, this is very bitter, and it's good for you to have bitter. 
Okay. It's got fennel that's looking, good for your digestion. I'm it's, looking forward to it. And uh, Yeah. Do you like it? I think I Herbie it. likes I a... I don't like it. I love it. Herbie yeah. likes a little spicy, so I'm going to add a little bit. Add, I'm going to add. I'm going to add a little bit of habanero honey for a little kick. Okay. Does that sound like good? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that reminds me, uh, in Dr. Walker, one of the uh, examples he gave, he... Uh, he was friendly with a coach from one of the colleges who was, the coach was, his, his expertise and, and what he's coach of is the rowing, the cruise. Crew. And, mm -hmm. and he recommended to his friend that uh, before the contest started, that e each member of the rowing crew should get a, spoon, a, a spoonful of honey. Mm -hmm. And he said the proof of the pudding was at the end of the race, he didn't say who won or lost, but at the end of the race, the team, the team, there were two teams. The one who didn't have the honey, every single young man who was a rower was all bent up, exhausted. Mm -hmm. And everyone who had the honey is so, like... Yeah, Full responsibly harvested local honey. Mm -hmm. And for all the people who say, oh, you're not vegan, if you have honey, then fine, call us plant-based. Don't call me anything. I eat mostly plants and vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds. Once in a while we have honey. Some ve strict vegans don't eat honey, but we're just who we are and this is how we eat. Right. Okay, we're not telling anybody what to do. This has got a little spice on it. Oh, so, so, the <laughs> sorry. You good? I'll get you a napkin. So just so you know, for those of you, Herbie, July 3rd, couldn't walk more than two houses when I went to visit him in New Jersey. Had spinal stenosis. He had spinal stenosis, hunched over, in pain, two blocks. Now he's... No, two, not two houses. Two houses. I'm sorry. He could only walk two houses and then be in pain. Now to 10 blocks one way, 10 blocks the other way, farmer's market... No, it's, Moving um, around without pain. And, and, and you have no idea until you experience that. As I mentioned in the other vid video, I was educated most as what I saw around me is at old age, people yeah. were going to have pain. But That's it doesn't have to be. There's no law. That's the thing. You, you can overthrow the age old stigma of stigma. pain overthrow the age-old stigma of pain right here living proof there you have it and the poster boy <laughs> it's about poster boy go herbie <laughs> team dara and if herbie can dot 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 those are going to be the upcoming t-shirts we love you guys we are here to inspire okay. and motivate and hoping that you do get your greens on yes <laughs>